Shalom and welcome, all my brothers and sisters. This is the most important subject that I'll ever speak about in a video, without question. Because this is regarding the Torah and the only, listen carefully, the only, only, unforgivable sin, unforgivable, meaning God will never forgive you, ever, if you disobey this commandment. So if you are someone who loves to use either the true name of Elohim or another version of what you believe the name is, turn off this video. Don't watch this video because after watching this video, if you continue to be one of the name happy type members or ones who just think that they can say the name of Elohim in any conversation, where, however they want, in any old conversation, or type it out in any old conversation online, turn off the video. Don't watch this video. But if you are absolutely serious, know that you have been warned. There is only one unforgivable sin in the Torah, in the entire Torah. And what is that sin? My brothers and sisters, the only unforgivable sin in the entire Torah is to take up the name of Elohim in vain. Yes, this is without a doubt the most important and dreadful warning in the Torah. It's in the Ten Commandments written by the finger of Elohim himself, which he states, you shall not Take up the name of Yehovah, your Elohim, in vain. Now, what does this truly mean when you're reading it from the Hebrew or reading it carefully to truly understand what this means? Now, a lot of people just think of the Ten Commandments who are not taking it as serious. I'm not saying that they don't believe the Ten Commandments are serious. Of course they do. But I'm saying that it just seems like Wonderful, cute commandments by God. The Ten Commandments, almost routine. And this commandment gets skipped over. People ignore this commandment unknowingly. It is the one commandment in the entire Torah within the top ten commandments where he says, you shall not take up the name of Elohim in vain. Now, what does this truly mean? I want you guys to really, truly understand what this means. The real meaning of the phrasing of this, what is he trying to tell you? It's trying to tell you not to bring up his name in any old casual conversation. Do not take up the name of Elohim in a worthless way. And then it goes on to say, for Elohim, your God, will not, listen carefully, will not forgive or pardon anyone who takes up his name in vain or for worthlessness, for nothing. So therefore, what it really is saying in plain English, from the Hebrew to straight English, no double talk here, straight up, he's saying, don't speak my name in a worthless way, ever. You will take my name very serious. It's the most holy name, period. It's the name of the Creator. His name is so holy. The name, now I'm not telling you, before I continue, I'm not saying, because we as Karaites, as Israel, not Orthodox Jews, we believe that the name of Elohim must not be banned. We must never replace his name with titles, ever. But we must honor and treasure and guard his holy name, our Father's holy name, meaning yours and I, you who's watching, whoever's watching this, and me. We are all sons of Elohim. All of us were created in his image, period, the end. So the bottom line is we must never take his name up when there's no reason to or in a worthless way. He's saying, be very careful how you use my name 
Now, if you're studying Torah, if you're studying the scripture, of course you must speak his name. If you're studying with someone else, you must use his name. You should never replace his name with a title. If you're having a conversation with a brother or sister in faith, of course you could use his name. So I'm not saying that you can't have it in a discussion of spiritual matters. Of course not. Of course not. But what Elohim is saying is to mention his name in vain, in just any old conversation. He's saying you must value and treasure my name. It's holy, the most holy name on earth, the heavens above, the earth beneath. There's none else but his name. So he's saying, don't play with my name. It is nothing to play with. And I will not forgive anyone who takes my name for granted and thinks it's just some casual uh, sign-waving name. Be very, very careful. As he says in the Torah, I will not forgive anyone who takes up my name in being. So be very careful. And again, in Devarim, in Deuteronomy, there's another warning where God gives another warning. In Devarim, Chapter 28, Deuteronomy 28, verse 58. He warns again. He says, and you must guard yourself to fear, fear his glorious and awesome name. We must guard it. Fear it. Guard it. His most holy and awesome name. So therefore, this is nothing to play with. If you take up his name, it must be in a matter of spiritualness. It must never be. I mean, if you're online and you're just blotting out his name all over the place where other people that can use that name and disrespect it, you're responsible for that. So be responsible. Be very cautious. Treasure his name. Guard his name. It is the Father, our Creator, our Elohim. We must guard his name and treasure his name. Don't bring up his name in any casual conversation. You who's watching, anyone group that name happy groups, missionaries, Jehovah's Witnesses, who just blot out his name, even the English version. Because yes, J the name with the J-V is plain English for the name. Period. It's the same meaning. It's plain English. The Hebrew name is different. Modern Hebrew. They're all the same. There's three different names. Y-H-W-H, Y-H-V-H, J-H-V-H. It's all the same name. Regardless, you must not utter his name in vain. Period. So therefore, I hope that you'll take this very, very seriously. It's the only unforgivable sin. I'm not making this video to scare you or to make you go, Ooh, what is he trying to do? No, I just want you guys to know. I hope that you'll take this to heart. Please. Please, don't take this lightly. He is the most forgiving and awesome Elohim. He's willing to forgive you if you turn from transgression, if you turn from wickedness. He will always forgive you, even for the most abominable things, if you truly change your life, truly. But there's one thing he will never forgive you for. Now, if you didn't know this before this video, don't worry. Because I get this all the time. I didn't know this. You know what? I blasphemed his name. I'm probably not going to be in the, in the world to come. No, I'm not saying that. No. He does not punish you for what you do not know. So don't worry about that. Anything you did in the past, after watching this video, or after knowing this knowledge, don't worry about that. He reads the heart. So therefore, now that you know this, please be very careful that you only use his name for the right reasons. And you know in your heart what the right reasons are. When it comes to scripture, knowledge, teaching, and so on and so forth. So therefore, please take great care to honor Elohim, your father, and his name. Because he warns us and tells us, my son or my daughter, do not take up my name in worthlessness. Make sure it's worth mentioning. You see what I'm saying? So if you're going to bring up his name, make sure the conversation is worthy of mentioning his name. Make sure that if you're typing to someone, it's worthy of quoting his name. If you're on the internet, don't put the fouls in. Be respectful. Put YHWH if it's going to be in the open forum. 
You know why I say this? It's not because I'm saying ban his name and don't say his name. It's because what if someone who's, for example, an angry atheist or someone who's so anti-God, what if he sees the full mention of the name with the vowels? And then he takes that name and posts something against you and says, you know what, curse your God, curse his name, and says all kinds of vile things in his name. How will you feel if you're responsible for spelling out his name and someone else curses you with that name? It won't make you feel good. It will not make you feel good if you truly do love your father, which I know you do. So brothers and sisters, let us take this very, very seriously. Take it to heart. Let us never, never, ever disregard his most sacred name. Yes, keep it in your prayer. Keep it in your spiritual life. But you must be very careful to heed the commandment from Elohim himself, his own lips, written by his own finger. Do not take up my name for worthlessness. For I will not forgive anyone who takes up my name in vain, in a worthless way. Shalom, and may Yehovah bless you immensely.